All right, I have here the T-Mobile LG V10, and we are going to unlock the bootloader, root it, and do what we want with it after that. So this method only works on the T-Mobile variant because it's the only one that has the unlockable bootloader. So I'm gonna give you a quick how to do this. So make sure you have your developer options on, and you wanna make sure that you have the OEM unlock enabled, USB debugging enabled. That's pretty much all you need on that end. Then you need to have ADB working on your device, I'm sorry, on your computer. And if you have that, then you can skip this step. If you don't have it, then you have SDK tools set up, then you have it. Uh, if you don't have SDK tools, you can use the MFAST boot zip and the description. The link is in the description. Go to the link. Uh, you don't need any of this uh, Motorola drivers or anything like that. You just need this right here, the MFAST boot, the zip. So go ahead and download that. And then what you want to do is unzip the MFAST boot right here. I've already done it. To I have it downloaded to my hard drive. So my fast boot's working and ADB's right there. You also want to go to the Team Win Recovery link and that is in the description as well. And you want to download your Team Win Recovery and you're going to put it right in your MFAST boot folder so you can go ahead and flash your recovery. You also want to download the super user zip file. You can just Google search that. I will also put a link in the description below and have all that on your phone before you go ahead and start with all of this. So now that we have all that, we are going to get into bootloader mode. Just power off your device. And keep in mind, this will erase your device, so please back up everything that you need to back up before you do it. And as always, all the usual disclaimers are involved. I am not responsible for anything you do to your device. Blah, blah, blah. You know the rest. Once it's off, you can just take a USB cable, which is already plugged into your computer. Hold your volume down button. Plug it in at the same time. Keep holding that volume down button and you are in your bootloader. So now we're going to just do the easy way on the computer. I'm just going to open our, we're in our MFAS boot folder, open a command prompt here. Oops. And we're in fast boot here. And basically, you can go to the link for the how to unlock your bootloader on XDA. I'll have that included below, and you just need the command prompts out of this. So first, what you want to do is you want to type in fastboot OEM unlock. You can just highlight it, copy it, come here, paste it in hit enter and then the next is going to be and you see the time then you're going to put fast boot get VAR unlocked, hit enter. And it says unlocked finished, time 0 0.055 seconds. see it's hard to see on there but it does say that it is unlocked so now that we're there we're gonna go ahead and flash recovery from here Hit 
enter and you can see it's doing its thing. the command in here to boot it into recovery. And we are now unlocked and we have custom recovery installed. And there's a disclaimer on here. You can just go ahead and ignore this. It's just to let you know that anything you do to your device is altering it and avoids your warranty and all that happy crap. So now we're here and we are going to actually root. And it's on my external SD card. And I have it in my files here. So here's your update super user uh, dot 2.46 zip. We're gonna flash that and we are now rooted and all this unable to uh, you can ignore that for right now that happens um, the first time that you flash um, but it is in there it has happened on my other device it did the same thing but it works successfully so from here uh, you can go ahead and do whatever else you're going to do you can flash uh, custom ROM you can flash uh, expose or whatever you like there. We're just going to go ahead and reboot the system now and you will see that it is successfully rooted. And also up here you can see that it says that the bootloader is unlocked and that that does not go away that stays there. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up and we'll be back. All right, we're back and the phone booted up and I am back in signing up everything. And we're back to um, as if we just took the device out of the box with all the stock apps. And now you can see that super user is installed and it is up and running. There is this one item that pops up right there. Um, do not give that super user access, deny it, or just leave it alone and let it time out on its own. And then if you like, you can um, install Exposed and then use Root Cloak and hide that um, from, from Root. I don't know if that'll do anything good or bad, um, it's just you don't want T-Mobile to know that you have a rooted device, although they tend to not really care, apparently, if it is or is not. But that is it, and from here, uh, if you need to go back into recovery, uh, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can use um, Quick Boot. You can get that from the Play Store. Uh, if you have ROM Toolbox or Titanium Backup, you should be able to do it from there. Um, you can also do it manually. You can power off your device and hold the uh, volume and power button when the LG logo pops up, let go of the power button, depress it again, uh, and it'll ask you if you want to factory reset your device, click yes, and it'll take you into Team One Recovery because you no longer have stock recovery, so it will not reset your device. That's it, pretty simple, uh, took less than 10 minutes, so I hope it helped. Thanks for watching.